Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today guys, as requested, I am going to recreate that neutral eye with a little bit of orange peeking out from underneath the contour shadow. I mentioned that look in my video I posted uh, my 10 favorite MAC eyeshadows. And here inside my MAC neutral palette are the shadows that help create that look that I mentioned in, in that video. I'm going to show you very quickly, guys. Remember I said this palette was coming apart. I use it so much. Literally coming apart. Well, the other day, I found a new MAC palette still in the box. So, I will be transferring these out um, in a couple of days. And uh, so, they don't get destroyed. But anyway, guys, the colors I'm going to be using today to create that look is the Tata Tint. As my all over eyelid and brow color I'm going to be using a little bit of that orange in the crease and just above get that orange in there for you guys that orange that's going to be peeking out just from underneath the embark which is going to be in the crease so I'm going to do that for you right now it's quick it's easy I'm going to apply some false eyelashes for you guys some eyeliner give you the whole complete look show you how I look when I do uh, create this look during the week and um, I hope you enjoy it so stay tuned I'm going to start with my Sigma 194 brush and I'm going to use the Too Faced shadow insurance today guys I'm going to use that today and I'm going to apply that to my lid Starting on the lid and working my way up to the underbrow area. And just make sure you get it blended in very nicely. And get that on. And just let that sit for a second or two. The next brush I'm going to use is the Sigma 239 brush. This is the brush we're going to apply the color with. And the first color I'm going to use is the, I'm going to use the Tata Tint, and I'm going to use that to cover my whole lid from my lash line to my brow bone. And just put the color on, guys, because we're going to blend it down. Make sure you get the corners and blend it in. Just let it stick to that shadow insurance. Okay. Okay. be using my Sigma 224 brush. This is the blending brush, guys. And I'm going to pick up some of that orange. Here it is right here, guys. Using some of that orange. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of that. Now, you don't need a lot. You just start with a little bit. And this is just a couple of swipes across the, um, the product. So you see how pigmented it is. So when we lay it in, you may have to blend it down. A little bit so just lay it in your crease area and just work it all the way across and just keep blending guys now if you are lighter in complexion than I am you may want to use a little less start with a little bit and then just blend out or blend to your desired intensity and if you are darker than I am, you may want to use a little more to get a deeper color and then blend and then blend it out just a bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I usually put in a little a little extra and then I just blend away. Make sure you get it in your crease and just bring it a little bit above. I'm going to be picking up that, that Sigma 239 again. And with the 239, I'm going to go back in 
And with the very top hairs of the brush, I'm going to pick up this Embark. This is Embark right here. And using the very top edge of the brush, I'm just going to just pick up some color right off the right on the edge, guys. That's where the color is. Not on the sides. It's on top of the hairs. Shake off the excess. And lay that color in directly where your eye folds. That is your crease. Right here, guys. Right where the eye folds. That's where I'm going to lay that brown. And let's see if you can see. Right there. That's where my crease is. And I'm going to use that. And I'm going to just blend it out just a little bit. Because that's the first part of laying that color in. You want to start laying that color in so that you can now blend it. And go back. Get a little on the corner of your lid. See? That easy, guys. If you want, you can go back in and pick up a little bit more of the orange. Just a little bit. And you can sweep it back across the top. Remember, even though this orange look is subtle, it is all needs to be subtle and it needs to make your eye pop. Okay, guys, basically that's the look. The lash glue of my choice is by a company called Head Covers. This is it right here, guys. And this is the non-latex formula. So if you're allergic to latex, you should look into that. That tube is about $3.95 at Madame Madeline's um, website where I uh, buy all my uh, my eyelashes in bulk but we're going to continue now we're going to put this eyelash on and just go in slowly guys lay the eyelash down and then put it into place and just make sure that it is right at your lash line that's where you want your eyelash to be and voila it is on. Just checking. Now I'm going to apply some black liner. This is by MAC, but you can use your favorite black liner. And you want to apply a very thin, thin line just above the area where you blade your lashes. And here we're going to start at the outer corner and just work our way in. Nice, clean strokes, guys. Keep them short. Keep them short. I'm going to put a little bit more on. And apply some to your corner eye. You don't need a lot. You just need a little bit. Just like that, guys. Now you can see this eye has already come together. What I'm going to do now is add a little black eyeliner. I'm going to use my MAC pencil in Smolder. And I'm just going to apply a little liner in the lower lash line. I'm going to do that to both eyes. You can do your complete lid or you can just stop right here at the tear duct. You can stop there if you want. I'm going to do my complete waterline. I'm going to do the other eye. And I am going to smudge it out with a q-tip and clean it up a little bit. We're just going to soften that line so it's not so harsh. I'm going to apply a little mascara now to my... I'm going to put just a little bit on my false lash because I like a thicker false eyelash. I just I just like my false eyelashes to pop. And you can do that. That's up to you. Look at that. And I'm going to apply a little. 
little bit to my lower lash line, lashes. Bye-bye now.